Hey guys, Rob here at 3D Printscape. So Cura 4.13 beta just came out, so I wanted to make a video kind of covering the new features there. Most of the new features are really tied uh, around security, uh, upgrades to uh, the material profiles and stuff like that. Uh, but the biggest one that stood out to me was some speed enhancements. From what I've been able to gather, those speed enhancements are better for their printers, but I am seeing some bumps on my Ender 3 profile, especially when you start to go into higher infill settings. So I'll go over that when I show you some of the features. If you have any questions about this video or would like to see any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. And if you haven't already, uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks. All right, guys. So as we just talked about, Cura 4.13 is out in beta. It just came out, I think, the other day. I wanted to go over some of the features, but before I do that, I wanted to show you how to actually get it. Uh, from the download page, which I'll link to below, um, you want to go to Try Cure Maker 413 Beta, and that's going to bring up their GitHub page. And then from here, you'll go down to the bottom. This is kind of a quick overview of some of the stuff that's changed. But you'll download the installer for your operating system I'm running Windows, so I'll download this one. Right, and then we'll just go ahead and launch that and run through the install. Alright, then once the install has finished, just go ahead and hit finish and launch Cura. Now, if you have existing profiles, those will come over. If you're setting this up for the first time, you will have to add your profile. I have a video covering that, which I'll link to in the description below. Alright, so let's talk about some of the new things they added. Um, they focused on increasing print speed here for this release. Um, that said, it's mainly for their uh, S line of 3D printers, uh, but I am seeing some improvements uh, just going between uh, 412 and 413, which we'll go over here in a minute. We're not going to see anything near 2x, but I'm seeing like a 5 to 10% drop, especially as you get to higher infills. But dropping 5 or 10% on a larger print does add up, so that's a really nice to see feature. Or enhancement. Uh, next one is around material profiles, which I kind of mentioned. It just makes syncing the uh, profiles easier between machines and such. Uh, this is not something I typically use often, so I won't be going into too much detail here. And then they made some enhancements for your login into your Ultimaker account. Uh, if you use it, it's uh, just a nice security bonus. If you don't use it, this isn't going to really impact you much at all. And then lastly here, they added a new course to their academy uh, for beginners. I haven't uh, actually watched this or uh, gone through any other courses, so I'm not sure uh, if it's worthwhile or not, uh, but I did want to point that out. And then they go into a more detailed list of uh, what's changed. Some of the things that they didn't really point out as larger changes could still be beneficial for those using it, uh, like the 3MF thumbnails as an example. Some changes directly tied to their uh, profiles again. Uh, if you're printing at 100%, it'll go to zigzag as an example, uh, the enhancements we talked about in the login. Uh, but the other main ones that I thought were worth pointing out was the TPU top layers. And it's going to be hard to show you in this video, so I'm just going to talk about it briefly here. But the top layer on TPU prints tends to be uh, less than desirable in a lot of cases, so they did make some enhancements here. I want to test that out further, but it is nice to see that they are making some effort there. And they say the settings section loads up faster now. On my computer, I don't really see much of a difference, but I would only be doing stopwatch testing, so it'd be hard to say for sure. And then they tweaked or added some additional plugins just across the board, uh, which is nice. And then a lot of bug fixes, which is also great. It's nice to see uh, software companies actually going back and fixing known bugs. All right, so let's go ahead and close that. All right, so I went ahead and pulled in an object that we can work with. Uh, like I mentioned, the biggest change that I'm seeing with 4.13 is the increased speed, which seems to be what they were going for. Uh, so I'll show you a couple examples here between 4.12 and 4.13. So I'm going to slice this Baby Yoda object here on just their standard profile, which I will be updating my profiles and uh, making those available before GA or around GA. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just using the standard quality, 20% uh, infill, and I'm going to slice that. And then we'll see what it comes back with. And I'm going to do the same thing on 412, which I have here. All right, so at 20%, this is going to use 48 grams of filament and take 6 hours and 25 minutes to print on 413. And then let's bump that to something like 80% where we're going to see the bigger difference here. And I'll slice that again. And then jumping back over to 412. Um, we're using 49 grams of filament, same infill pattern, same percentage. Uh, so it's really just the uh, trails that it's taking or the lines that it's following when it's doing the printing. And it takes 
an extra 10 minutes at six hours and 35 minutes. And then I'm gonna change that to 80% as well and slice it again. All right, so at 80%, it automatically changed the infill pattern from cubic to lines, and it will take um, about 12 hours and 14 minutes to print and use 130 grams of filament. Going over to 412, it made the same change. Take 12 hours and 36 minutes to print and 132 grams of filament, so it's using a little bit more. So with this model, that took 22 minutes off of the print time and took a little bit less filament to do. Uh, I have noticed bigger increases on some of the other models. Let's just drop in Benchy really quick. All right, so Benchy on 413 uh, will take 2 hours and 41 minutes to print using 18 grams of filament at 80%. We're over on uh, 412, we're looking at two hours and 53 minutes using 19 grams of filament. So overall, depending upon the model, we're looking at a 12 to 10% decrease in print time and use a little bit less filament, which is pretty awesome for uh, just some software changes. So for me, that reason alone uh, justifies this upgrade in my opinion, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know. All right guys, so that covers the changes in Cura 413. Uh, I plan on updating my profiles here when that goes GA, uh, so it could be a couple weeks, hard to say for sure. And then I will make another video if anything major changes, or I'll just update the description below. But if you have any questions about this video or would like to see any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.